guys, Y here with Bergeron. And in a perfect Y fashion, I am fresh out of the shower. I did manage to get myself a cup of coffee. Um, I'm getting used to the decaf coffee. It's not so bad. It could be worse. It could be no coffee at all. Um, coffee is just part of my morning routine. So um, let me adjust this camera just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So it is Friday, December the 8th. Surgery is in four days. So it is the Friday before surgery. So I have all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then I have to get up at four o'clock on Tuesday morning just to make it to the surgery center and take, drink this stuff that I'm supposed to drink. So let me just give you a, a recap of the past several days. It's been up and down. Um, last night I didn't sleep at all. I'd sleep a couple of hours and then I'd have a dream and I'd wake up and of course I'm not, I never remember my dreams so I don't know what the dreams were about. But I'd wake up and I would lay there for forever um, and just my mind would race about things that could go wrong, things that could go wrong. Um, I don't anticipate anything going wrong, but that's where my mind is going. Um, yeah, it's a little difficult. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube videos of people who have been through this exact same surgery. And I found a lady who, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I thought she was me um, until a little bit into her recovery, like months after surgery, she started showing some signs of maybe she has a little something else going on. Um, and and I don't have that, so, so that made me feel better. Um, but just to see um, how people reacted and um, <clears throat> the things that I'm going to encounter when I get home. Uh, the biggest hurdle I think I'm going to have when I get home is Benson. Benson is mama's boy. He is attached to me. He is everywhere I am and he just wants to jump on me. That is not going to be able to happen, not for a while. So I bought a big pillow to put across my abdomen when I was sitting in the recliner in hopes that maybe that would take the brunt of it if he jumped on me because, you know, it's those paws digging into your skin. <coughs> so the last couple of days, I'm noticing that I'm losing my voice. So the virus or whatever it was I had is pretty much gone. I have a little lingering cough, but my voice is awful. And by the end of the day, it's just really bad. So last night, my husband said, you need to stop talking. And I said, I haven't talked all day. So <coughs> I apologize for all the coughing and hacking, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm getting really nervous, guys. Really, really nervous. Um, I know what I'm doing is the right thing to do, but I'm getting really nervous. The next door neighbors yesterday were like, when do you go? And they were like, oh, we've got a little something for you. And I was like, no, I don't need anything. I, Mike's here to help with the dog. Stephanie's going to be here to work, help with the dog. Um, we're fine, but thank you. <laughs> I, I don't want everybody to, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, it's weight loss surgery, guys. It's not some life-saving surgery. So, um, I don't know. I just thought I'd hop on here and just share with you today that I'm a little nervous and I guess anxiety because yesterday I filled my anxiety meds at the pharmacy. So, uh, I think uh, it's a lot of anxiety and unsure, um, you know, the unknown. The unknown is scary. <clears throat> um, I gained a pound yesterday. I, I don't know. I guess that's the problem with weighing yourself every day. Um, I gained a pound yesterday and I'm beating myself up over it today. Um, I did have one little 
moment of I'm starving and I want to eat something bad. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I'm good. Um, appetite is just not not there. It's not what it used to be. Um, but I can tell already that starving myself is not the way to lose weight. So I don't know. The way this surgery works is it, they don't just cut your stomach. They actually reroute your intestines so that food is broken down differently and it isn't absorbed into your system. So that's the part that's going to help me lose weight, not the starving myself. I've been starving myself for years and no results. So <clears throat> the other hardest part for me is going to be eating breakfast. I'm not a breakfast eater. I've never been a breakfast eater. Um, I can't remember the last time I ate breakfast on a normal, uh, probably in grade school. I don't know. Um, and then it was a bowl of cereal and run out the door. But I'm this type of person that I want to be everywhere I go early. <clears throat> and so that didn't leave me time for breakfast in the morning. So all these years, all these 50 some years, I have not eaten breakfast. Um, and so now they want me to eat a breakfast every morning. So um, yeah, it's going to be really different. It's going to be very, very different. Um, and I'm a little scared about it just a little scared but it's only four days away we will get there we will get through it and i will see you all on the other side have a bad day